North Korea claims it has successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, a device which can be loaded onto a long-range ballistic missile. There's no independent verification of that claim. South Korea and Japan say it was a nuclear test ten times more powerful than the previous attempt by Pyongyang. <laughs> A jubilant newsreader on state TV announced that the bomb test had been a complete success. The device was of unprecedentedly large power, she said. The news came just hours after state media published this photograph of Kim Jong-un apparently inspecting such a device. The test comes against a backdrop of heightened tension in the region following multiple missile launches by North Korea, the last one conducted less than a week ago. Earlier, seismologists detected a powerful tremor measuring 6.3 near the north's main testing site at Pungari. Well, uh, let's talk now to... Uh, let's... <laughs> Parameters of the war are well known. The conflict began when Kim Il-sung's Sung forces invaded South Korea in June 1950 with the tacit support of Joseph Stalin and Mao Zedong. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening. Uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. Kim's forces quickly overrun their southern counterparts and were on the brink of unifying the peninsula before United States forces intervened under the guise of the United Nations. They quickly pushed the North Korean forces back across the 38th parallel and threatened to unify the entire peninsula until a massive force of Chinese volunteers intervened and pushed the American and South Korean forces back to the 38th parallel. Thereafter, the two sides settled into a stalemate that more or less persisted until an armistice was signed in 1953. Less well remembered, at least in the United States, is that America waged the mercilessly air campaign against North Korea during the conflict. As the eminent historian on the war, Bruce Cummings, puts it, what hardly any Americans know or remember is that we carpet bombed the North for three years with next to no concern for civilian casualties. Indeed, Emmett O'Donnell, who led the Far East Bomber Command of B-29 Seconds that participated in the bombings. Dis <laughs>